Today we're gonna go get my first boat. It's a 1985 Bayliner, needs a lot of work, and I think uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a reno project. We're gonna grab a truck, hook her up, pull the boat to the location that we're storing it at, and then we're gonna bring the engine to a shop, and if we can get the engine running, then we're gonna do a total restoration on this boat. All right, let's go get Jake. Why is it snowing in May? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, <laughs> truck secured. I'm gonna go ahead and, and crank this bad boy off. <laughs> Medium truck secured. Now heading back to my house to get a tire and maybe another strap or two because we have a couple outboards to pick up and a whole block. So probably want to tie that down a little bit. It's my favorite song. Oh wow, is that an MR2? Wow. Oh wow, is that a pile of trash and some the, tires? The bag and sleeve ones? Yes. Well, you can grab an unsleeved one. Well, that's got a wheel in it. Oh, it does have a wheel in it, and it's purple. Yeah, just grab that one. <laughs> Get your new bag. <clears throat> I don't really care. They're we're, pretty haggard. We are not littering. Just don't have time for this. <laughs> She's juicy. <laughs> it's not warm out today. Not warm. Gonna put on my driving gloves here. <laughs> I brought map gas. <laughs> Just, you know, never know when you need it. Some more straps. Wow. All right, so what is the whole operation here? So, the guy's boat is parked underneath the like supporting wire for a power line which is always the best place for a boat so we're gonna have to sneak it out of there but before we do that we want to get the engine in the back of the truck put her on a spare tire then once we get that and the out drives in the in the bed of the truck put the boat on haul the boat to the storing location <clears throat> thank you Jonah and then take the boat off dehitch the boat and then head to the shop where we're gonna take out the outdrive. Well, we can probably take out the outdrives at uh, Jonah's place too, but then we're also gonna drive the shop and take out the engine because that's where we're gonna be doing all the work is at the shop. We'll do the once over. Conditions are not ideal and we're running a little bit behind, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> there she is in all her majestic glory. All right, so we got, we got the boat. Um, I feel. Put your camera down a little bit. What? I'm trying to adjust some mirrors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is it? A bad angle? <laughs> it's not a good sign. Um, yeah. So we got, we got the trailer. We got the boat. We're we're good with that. The um, the trailer. I tried to look for the VIN, and it like doesn't have it. So that's a big red flag. Uh, but you know, worst case scenario. You know, pointing fingers, right? Like, I know where the guy lives that gave him the boat, and then he knows the marina that it came from. So, worst case scenario, we'll go on that rabbit, that rabbit chase, rabbit hole, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit hole. whatever. We'll, we'll go down, down that, that rabbit, rabbit hole, hole. Uh, when we get to it. You where know, we, Alice in Wonderland. Where are we going? Yeah, one problem at a time. One problem at a time. So, the other issue is if it's how do you get it registered in VIND if you know you don't have VIN. So that that will be. He, there's a plate on here, but. I don't know if it's any good. So we're just gonna get back. It's gonna sit for a while anyway. Hopefully it'll warm up before then. Thankfully I brought Jay with me cause he has trailer experience, which this was like the first trailer experience I've ever had really. Um, I've hooked trailers up, but I've never driven it. So he's gonna be driving. It was good to have him. And also I didn't even really help him put the engine in or the outboards. He's been lifting and uh, you know, benching, you know, do life, something. Life is a workout. You know. Life is a workout. You gotta get it in where you can. The gyms are closed. Yeah, yeah. So he's been uh, he's been ripping it at a home gym. So he's good. Lifted those things right in, and now we're headed to our uh, buddy's Jonah's house, and we'll get this off, get the boat off, we'll we leave hit it there. 40. We hit forty. She looks good. She's good and stable. Dude, we're set, brother. We got this thing, and uh, you know, the guys that helped us, they seem pretty down to earth. The <laughs> 
it was funny when we were getting the engine it was actually at a different house than the boat was so we went there it was like you know two minutes back the direction we came pull it reverse into the driveway we got out and the guys who the guy whose house it was that was storing the engine was like all right so i'm let's let's be clear you got a nice truck <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you dad for letting us borrow the truck it is nice i think the guy was worried because he was using a tractor to put the engine in but jay said there was like half inch of clearance we put it on the tire strapped her down she's good i mean the outboards are in there good and tight as well so i think and we were worried because we actually thought we were going to have to drive all the way back to where we're from to get a smaller uh ball for the trailer hitch but uh it ended up working out fitting so that was good and the plug which was all sorts of packed with goodies and fudge and whatever else was in there that actually works so the trailer lights work good and um yeah so day one of the project boat picking it up dropping it off we got her look at that girl look at that look at that look at that look at that girl boy boy a phone call huh no phone call just a snap i literally told you i was like you ready for a boat saturday morning you're like yeah Yo, no time <laughs> nothing <laughs> Jeez. I, just, I naturally woke up at that time. <clears throat> you just showered. Don't stretch yourself. Huh? Put the wheel down. Don't, don't okay. You ever done this before? Yeah. My dad had a boat. Oh, Wait, okay. where's the locking mechanism? <sighs> well, the locking, locking, mechanism. locking mechanism is called cross-threading. <laughs> cross-threading. <laughs> other way. You're the other way, but I don't think that wheel is locked in place, dude. It is. Oh, okay. Oh, I see how it works. All right. Yeah, this is the pin that goes in. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, oh, yeah. wait a second. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. I was like, I did not that, hear a click. That positive detent. Yeah. Well done, boys. She, uh. It has a ladder, right? Yeah. Okay. He has, he has a ladder. Yeah, it's got a ladder, dude. You know, lad. That that right there. That's that's pretty this much one. all the value of the boat, right? <laughs> this has to get sandpapered. And yeah, that repainted. Repaint. Well, there's a lot to do before we get there. But, yeah. yeah. So, pretty much, we got to make sure we can stick something in this big old hole. I was gonna say it's not a <laughs> have a motor. It does not. Well, it does, but it's in the truck. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, that's it. Okay. So we're gonna bring that to the shop and then you know do your, do your due diligence on it yep make sure she's good i bet these don't work anymore big i mean it's that been covered for god knows how long yeah we'll see but they're all the analog you know it's not like yeah but i mean if you're gonna do it like clean this thing yeah do it right yeah make it look new yeah for sure this wheel's in good condition though that's nice I was going to go take a leak, but it was too windy. I'm afraid of getting some splatter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Strong it's wind's bad. coming off. It's not bad. Yeah. I mean, it, all the wood can come off. The wood's in good condition. It doesn't look rotted. You just have oh, to no, redo there's, it. There's, there's definitely some rot, but... The floor is, like, sagging. Yeah. That'll that'll all need to be new. Probably yeah. pressure treated. Reupholstered. I'm thinking Advantech. <laughs> some floor. Like, housing some floor. <laughs> no, probably just plywood. And then I gotta, you know, reupholster all the, all the seats. I like how it has a cover for it too. Yeah, Sweet. little thing over oh, the yeah, top. Oh yeah, no, these seats are. <laughs> they're scuffed. They are scuffed for sure. Yeah. But you know, it's not. Put some bucket seats in it. I I think <laughs> it's dude, some like brown some <laughs> some racing seats. Yeah. yeah, some buckets. Let's do it. That'd be sweet, dude. I mean, if if you can put a motor in it and just clean it. It's a Volvo let Penta. Let's reupholster it. You already got value. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, as long as you can slap a motor that works on it. So my my plan is to like not even like not even touch any of the interior until it's like we know the engine works. Yeah. That way we're not just wasting we're not wasting money, you know. All right, at the shop, you can unload this baby and put her down in there. Should be good. 
All right, so we got it on the engine hoist. Now we just need to remove the bell housing, which looks like we need to remove this part of the cooling system. No, we'll be able to get this off without taking the... Yeah, I don't know if I can back... Yeah, they're actually short bolts. We should be able to take the bell housing off, see what falls out, because I've never, you know, opened a bell housing on a boat before. What do you think these are, 17? Or 18s. Jake uh, cracked the drain plug on the oil pan. And for about 30 seconds, pure, the purest water I've ever seen came out of the oil pan. It's pretty milky. And pretty that chocolate is just milky. all chocolate milk. So I doubt that this thing was running. And if it was, I'm concerned. Well, unless maybe it was sitting outside. Maybe because it wasn't winterized. Right, but right. What happened, but then it could be the block might be cracked. Uh -huh. That could also be true. Because the water could have frozen it. Right. But it wasn't in. So if there was any pressure, it should have been able to push out. You know, it wasn't like I'm making stuff up. I, it could obviously be destroyed. We need to apparently get the head off and see. You know, this is, this is the kind of work that I was hoping not to have to do. To see that much water in there is very concerning. Right now I'm crying inside. I'll let you guys know. Well, that's gonna that's gonna wrap up day one of the boat. We got it, the boat. We did everything we set out to do. Uh, there's some question marks that came up, like you know the trailer not having a vent. Stolen. Uh, hopefully it's not stolen. So that's the big question mark there. And then uh, opening up the oil pan on the engine dropped out a whole bunch of water, which is kind of something that I wasn't surprised about, but I just hope the block is okay. It is like an iron block, so it's not like a soft aluminum, so hopefully it'll hold. And we'll just have to, you know, grease up the pistons or whatever and uh, use some machine oil and just get those moving. We couldn't crank it over, but uh, yeah, I'm excited slash still scared. I feel like we have things in position. Now we can really go home, do research on exactly what needs to be done. Uh, we need to do like freeze plugs on the block as well. And then once like, you know, really get the engine sorted out. That's probably for me, I think is gonna be the most satisfying thing is getting the engine, all the seals done and everything, getting that thing minty and getting it in the, the boat and running. And once that's running, I'm gonna feel a whole lot better about this project. You know, but that that's the the dark part of this project right now is gonna be the engine. Because I really don't want to go out and buy a new or used. Wouldn't buy wouldn't buy new, but I wouldn't want to go out and buy a used one. Cause even, you know, they might say it's working, you still don't know if it's actually gonna be working. So Yeah, I mean this one like allegedly ran when they right. pulled it out, but it had, you know, a few fun. gallons worth of water inside it. So Yeah, so Overall though, I think it was a good first day. We got we got what we needed to get done. So progress, that's what we needed. Uh, thank you for watching the first of many boat videos on this channel. And uh, see you next time.